Today, I am going to do a book review on this big, massive book that has been heralded as a great American masterpiece. However, it is controversial. And yes, you could see it's a library book. I don't own a copy. Oh, if I have to spend the rest of our lives making Rhett fall in love with me all over again, I will. Now, where's my carpet bag? <laughs> my name is Lisa Shimkus, and I am a mom of two who went from teaching to lifing. I enjoy writing, reading, crafting, and learning. My channel is here to help you learn and grow through the use of books and writing and to help you make your writing dreams come true. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to A Writer's Corner. Today, I am going to do a book review on this big, massive book that has been heralded as a great American masterpiece. However, it is controversial. It is Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. I admit I am not a fan of the 1939 adaptation of this book due to the main character and the length of the film. However, after reading this book, I praise Vivian Lee for her role as Scarlett O'Hara. Let's find out why this book, still skyrocketing in sales, is loved by many and detested by the rest. And yes, you could see it's a library book. I don't own a copy. Introduction. I read Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. This big, massive, controversial book was first published in 1936 and has since gone on to become a Hollywood hit taken literal center stage, and much, much more. This book, obvious by the title, is about life in the Old South of the United States and its transition into the new. The Old South is now gone as experienced by the hero, Scarlett O'Hara. Scarlett starts off as a 16-year-old girl who loves boys, gossip, and attention. She meets Rhett Butler, who isn't like any of the boys that she grew up with. He doesn't fall for her charms or fakery, he teases her often, and he calls her out on her BS, which angers Scarlet. In the 10 plus years that occur throughout the book, Scarlet and Rhett keep running into each other. Scarlet keeps chasing money and external things while Rhett is chasing Scarlet's heart. The theme or message in this book is perseverance in the face of adversity. Now Scarlet is very stubborn and used to getting her own way. Because of this, she is able to persevere through the effects of the Civil War. She goes from having things done for her to taking care of others. Farming the land and owning a business. Do I recommend this book? Yes and no. I honestly didn't love the book, nor did I hate it, which is very surprising because I can't stand the movie. Vivian Lee did such a great job portraying Scarlett O'Hara that it's really hard for me to watch the movie. I actually hate the movie because I can't relate to Scarlett. She's very unbearable, yet the book was bearable. Because of this, I found Gone with the Wind to be bothersome yet intriguing. It's actually perplexing. Here are my reasons why. 1. The Characters I thought the author did a great job writing up the character of Scarlett O'Hara, the main hero. Her personality, or personality disorder, was spot on. Scarlett's character is extremely self-centered. Her actions are all for attention and validation, and she's too fixated on her own fantasy world to see reality. I know people just like Scarlett. However, I really liked Rhett Butler. I personally felt that Rhett was a much more interesting character to read about, therefore the novel should have been written from his perspective. I mean, the guy has a bad reputation. Let us readers experience that with Rhett. Forget the gossip with Scarlett and her girlfriends. Gossips are lies made up by people who hate their lives and themselves, and the people who actually have a life, such as Rhett. I want to know how Rhett ended up in Georgia how he survived the war, what he did abroad, and what he actually finds attractive about Scarlet. Scarlet is a very bland character in comparison to Rhett. He should have been the A character and Scarlet the B character. And I say this because there was very little character development in Scarlet, but a drastic one in Rhett. Hence, Rhett would have been a much more compelling character to read about. Two. 
show don't tell there was too much tell rather than a show in this book the author did a lot of telling who the characters are and how the reader should view them rather than allowing the reader to feel who the characters are and then decide for themselves whether or not they like the characters because of this i found it really hard to emotionally attach to the characters and understand them therefore the book was very bland three wrong genre gone with the wind is supposed to be a romance novel with the hot clark gable and the beautiful vivian lee on the cover yet i felt the book was mostly a fantasy the author wrote obviously about a time passed in history however i didn't feel that any research went into her writing it was just a, well, if I grew up in the Old South, here's how life would have been for me as a Southern Belle, or so I imagine. It was all too whitewashed, literally and figuratively. I mean, what did these people do for a living? How did the women go about their day-to-day -day life? How is Scarlett O'Hara so incompetent and naive, and yet she knows how to suddenly farm the land and do business? These are all plot holes that need research to fill. As someone who actually loves a particular 19th century book, which is my daughter's namesake, I was actually very disappointed with the information given in Gone with the Wind. I couldn't get a strong sense for the time, nor could I root for nor cheer on the characters. Therefore, I'm going to say that the genre is incomplete, if not completely off. 4. The Controversy the controversy over this book has to do with the slaves, or black people, and the racist actions that take part in the Old South. Now, I don't know how I feel about this because it could have been purposeful. Because Scarlett is a self-centered person who doesn't care about others, she has no attachment to the black people or the servants in her family's home. Therefore, they were all blandly written in. I personally would have preferred a stronger bond between Scarlett and the staff and her family in order to understand why it is that some of them chose to stay even after the war ended. I didn't mind how the author introduced how the black slaves became free men, more colored folks moved from the north to the south, and how this bothered the white men, because it's a repetitive part of global history. Not everyone is comfortable with change, which is what the author is trying to say. But at the same time, the black people were not portrayed thoroughly in this book. Their presence was very in the background. You really just had to assume their roles and relationships with the white families. And again, I say this could have been purposeful because we're seeing the book through the lens of Scarlet, who has a very narrow vision. It's all about her and herself only. She even tells the readers over and over that she doesn't care about this or that or that particular person. She's really only focusing on one thing, herself and her goals. Five, the ending. The ending was very abrupt and could have been better. By this point, Scarlett and Rhett have not only aged, but they've gone through a lot. Rhett has taken on to drinking and his purpose in life has gone with the wind. Hence, he should have been the main character. Whereas Scarlet is still the same by the end of the book. There is no resolution nor full character development in Scarlet. She hasn't learned her lesson nor gone back for the boy. The grand gesture of every romance novel, by the way. Personally, here's how it should have ended. You can't leave me, Red. I love you. I always have. I was just too blind to understand it. Frankly, my dear, I don't give an F anymore. I'm leaving you now. Red, Red, wait, wait for me. Stay right there while I go get my things. Oh, if I have to spend the rest of our lives making Red fall in love with me all over again, I will. Now, where's my carpet bag? <laughs> in conclusion, I read Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. It's about a self-centered, stubborn, determined girl and her experiences of the Old South, as well as the impact of the Civil War on the once wealthy and rich plantation owners. The Lisa Book Club gives Gone with the Wind two out of five stars. It's perplexing because it doesn't go in depth with detail about the time in order to feel real and relatable. It's missing elements to make it a full romance novel. And it should have been written from Rhett Butler's perspective to be a much more interesting book to read. And there you have it, my review of Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. 
If you'd like to see me review other books, please list them in the comment below. Check out the list here and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and have fun reading and writing. Bye.